Did you know that colors can influence your appetite? Yes, you heard it right. There's a fascinating psychological fact that colors can sway our eating habits. For instance, the color red, often used in fast food chain logos, can stimulate our appetite, making food seem more appealing. On the contrary, the color blue can suppress it. This knowledge has massive implications in areas like advertising and interior design, where color psychology plays a crucial role. So next time when you're decorating your dining room or designing a restaurant menu, remember the power of colors. Have you ever met someone and instantly liked them, only to find later that your initial impression was wrong? Welcome to the halo effect. This psychological phenomenon describes how our overall impression of a person can be influenced by our feelings and thoughts about their character. For instance, if we perceive someone as attractive or likable, we're more likely to attribute other positive qualities to them, like intelligence or kindness, without any concrete evidence. This can lead us to overlook their flaws or misjudge their character. On the flip side, if our first impression of someone is negative, we're likely to perceive their subsequent actions in a negative light. The halo effect is not just restricted to interpersonal relationships, but extends to various fields like marketing, job interviews, and even grading and education. It's a powerful reminder of how our initial biases can cloud our judgment. So the next time you form an immediate opinion about someone or something, step back and question, is it the halo effect at play? Moving on to an interesting phenomenon, the reminiscence bump. This intriguing concept pertains to the tendency of older adults to recall events from their adolescence and early adulthood with striking clarity. Picture a grandparent, their eyes gleaming with nostalgia as they recount tales from their high school years, each detail as vivid as if it were yesterday. This isn't merely a coincidence, but a testament to the power of the reminiscence bump. So why does this occur? Well, psychologists suggest that these years, often filled with firsts, are a time of rapid change and emotional intensity, which can enhance memory formation. This is a pivotal period in our lives when we are establishing our identities and experiencing many things for the first time. Beyond just an interesting fact, understanding the reminiscence bump can provide valuable insights into memory and aging, potentially helping us to better cater to the needs of an aging population. Isn't it fascinating how our minds prioritize memories from our formative years? Our next topic brings us to a fascinating yet unsettling phenomenon known as the bystander effect. Have you ever wondered why, in a crowd, people often refrain from helping someone in need? This is the essence of the bystander effect. The theory suggests that the more people present at an emergency, the less likely anyone is to help. This counterintuitive behavior is attributed to two factors, diffusion of responsibility and social influence. Diffusion of responsibility suggests that when in a group, individuals feel less personal responsibility to act because they believe someone else will. On the other hand, social influence implies that people look to others in the group to gauge the appropriate response. If no one else is acting, they assume that intervention isn't necessary. This can lead to a dangerous scenario where everyone waits for someone else to make the first move. Understanding this phenomenon can encourage us to break free from the crowd mentality and be the one to step forward when help is needed. Remember, your action could make all the difference. Now let's dive into a psychological paradox named after the wise King Solomon. This paradox, known as Solomon's Paradox, is a phenomenon where people make more rational decisions when thinking about others' problems than their own. Quite a peculiar situation, isn't it? For instance, imagine a person who is excellent at giving relationship advice, always knowing just what to say to help their friends navigate their love lives. However, when it comes to their own relationships, they often find themselves in a mess, unable to apply the same wisdom they freely dispense to others. It's as if they have a blind spot when it comes to their own predicaments. This paradox has far-reaching implications on decision-making and self-awareness. It suggests that when we detach ourselves from our personal biases and emotions, we can make better decisions. So the next time you're stuck in a conundrum, try to picture it as someone else's problem. It seems we could all benefit from a little outside perspective when tackling our problems, don't you think? Moving on to another fascinating psychological phenomenon, the placebo effect. This is a concept where a person's belief in a treatment, even one that's inactive or fake, can lead to real physical changes. Imagine taking a sugar pill that you believe to be a powerful painkiller. Your belief in its efficacy can actually lead to a decrease in pain. It's a testament to the power of our minds over our bodies. But how does this work? The exact mechanisms are still not entirely clear, 
but it's thought that the placebo effect is partly due to the brain's release of endorphins, our natural painkillers, in response to the belief that relief is on the way. This effect has been observed in various studies, often as a control in drug trials. It underlines the importance of our perceptions and beliefs in health and healing. So, the next time you hear someone say, mind over matter, remember, it's not just a saying. It could be the placebo effect at work, illustrating the incredible power of belief. Ever met someone who overestimates their abilities? That's the Dunning-Kruger effect at play. The Dunning-Kruger effect is a cognitive bias where individuals with low ability at a task overestimate their ability. It's like a poor singer who genuinely believes they could win a singing competition. This phenomenon was first observed by social psychologists David Dunning and Justin Kruger, hence the name. It's not just about being delusional or overconfident, it's about the paradox that those with the least ability are the least likely to recognize their own incompetence. This has profound implications on self-perception and competency. It can lead to inflated self-assessment and an inability to recognize genuine skill in others. It can blind us to our own shortcomings and prevent us from learning and growing. So the next time someone appears overly confident, remember, it could be the Dunning-Kruger effect in action. Have you ever learned a new word, then suddenly started hearing it everywhere? Or maybe, you bought a new car, and now it seems like every other vehicle on the road is the same make or model. This is known as the bader meinhof phenomenon, or the frequency illusion. It's a cognitive bias where, after noticing something for the first time, there is a tendency to notice it more often, leading us to believe that it has a high frequency of occurrence. In reality, it's not that these events are happening more, it's just that you're now more aware of them. The phenomenon was named after the bader meinhof Group, a 1970s German terrorist group. A commenter online noticed that, after hearing about the group, they started seeing references to it everywhere. The name stuck, and now it's used to describe this weird sensation of seeing new things popping up all around us. So, the next time you learn something new and start seeing it everywhere, remember it's just your brain playing tricks on you. Last but not least, let's talk about a common error we all make. The fundamental attribution error. This is a concept in psychology where we tend to overemphasize personal characteristics when evaluating others' actions, often overlooking the role of external factors. For instance, if someone turns up late for a meeting, our immediate reaction might be to label them as disorganized or irresponsible, without considering possible situational influences like unexpected traffic or an emergency. This error can significantly impact our judgment and social interactions. It can lead us to hastily label and stereotype people, which in turn, can breed misunderstanding and conflict. It's a reminder of how our perception of reality can be skewed by our own biases, and how easily we can misjudge others based on surface-level observations. So, it's always good to take a step back, and consider the bigger picture before passing judgment. So, there you have it. Nine fascinating psychological facts about human behavior. We've journeyed through the vibrant world of colors where we discovered how hues can influence perception, mood, and even behavior. We then navigated the intriguing landscape of the reminiscence bump, a phenomenon that explains why we tend to remember events from our late teens and early 20s more vividly. It's a fascinating glimpse into how our minds prioritize and store memories. Next, we delved into Solomon's paradox, the curious contradiction where we're better at giving advice to others than we are to ourselves. It's a reminder that sometimes, a different perspective can make all the difference. We also explored the Dunning-Kruger effect, a cognitive bias where individuals with low ability at a task overestimate their ability. It's a humbling reflection on self-awareness and competence. Lastly, we examined the fundamental attribution error, the tendency to overemphasize personal characteristics and ignore situational factors in judging others' behavior. This bias underlines the importance of empathy in understanding others. Each of these psychological facts presents an intriguing insight into the complexities of the human mind. They challenge us to look deeper, question more, and strive to understand not just the world around us, but the inner workings of our own minds. Hope you found these psychological facts as intriguing as we did. Stay curious and remember, understanding our minds is the first step towards bettering ourselves. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating insights.